hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is cook with Nike on today's menu we are making turkey stew yeah turkey stew let's start cooking for our ingredients we need our fresh tomatoes we need our frozen turkey this is the drumstick We also need our green bell peppers, our onions, our scotch bonnet pepper, and the ginger. I'm going to put the measurements in the description box below. We also need our onions and our shrimp tablets, our ground ginger, our ground garlic, our ground onion, our edible spice, and our ginger and onion paste. We're going to start by cooking the turkey. I've added my ginger and onion paste, about one teaspoon of the ground garlic, ground onion, and the edible spice, and the ground ginger too. And one shrimp tablet. You could use any seasoning of your choice. Now we're going to start boiling our tomatoes. Tomato doesn't take long to cook, so I added about one cup of water just for the heat to cook through. We're going to blend our bell peppers, our scotch bonnet pepper, our ginger, and our onion. Now we put that on the side. We check on our tomatoes, it's been cooking for 7 minutes now and it's done. We're going to blend that too and put it on the side. You can choose not to um, boil the tomatoes but with this it also gives it a different taste. So you could give this a try and see how that comes out. We put this on the side too. Now we're going to check on our uh, turkey. You're going to give it a stir and make sure it's cooked through. So this has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to stir it and cover it and let it cook for about 5 to 7 minutes. I use the frozen turkey, that's why you have to season it well, otherwise your meat is not going to taste good. Now we're going to start frying our turkey. We're going to heat up this oil for about 2-3 to three minutes and put our turkey in there. Be careful at this point, the oil is hot. We're going to fry this to a golden brown color and we're going to take it out. At this moment I'm just turning on the other side for it to brown on the other side too. Our turkey is done. You could use any meat of your choice. You could use chicken, you could use beef, fish, but I prefer using turkey today. Now we're going to add our blended onions, scotch bonnet pepper, and green bell pepper in the oil. We're going to cook this for about 7 minutes. We're going to cover this and let it cook for about 7 to 10 minutes. And in about 10 minutes, this is how it looks. This is how you want the texture to be.
Now we're going to add our tomato paste. I think I did not show that in the ingredients, but I'm going to uh, write all that in the description box below. I added two cans, the small size, I think the six ounces, two cans of tomato paste. Make sure you mix it well. Cover this and let this also cook for about 10 minutes. So in about 10 minutes, this is how our seal looks. We're almost there guys, we're almost there. Now we're going to add the blended tomatoes. Now we're going to stir this up and let it also cook for about 7 to 10 minutes. There are a lot of ways to do tomato stew and this is one of it. I always want to learn something new and this was this recipe a friend of mine showed me. I'm like, oh, this really tastes good so I want to just bring this recipe out. And also if somebody want to try it, they could try it. This is the stock from the turkey. We're just going to drain the top and leave the rest, the underneath part. Yeah, this is how our stew look. We're going to add this, yeah, to the seal. Don't throw this away. It has all that flavors in it. Give that a stir. Now we're going to add our sliced onions to it. I know you probably asked why am I adding this at this point, but guys, that's why it's cooking. It doesn't always have to be the old style changing mukha cry. You can even add this when the stew is done to give it some crunchiness to it. It doesn't have to be the same old way, guys. Just change it up. Change it up a little bit. All right. Now we're adding our shrimp tablet. Use any seasoning of your choice. Give this a stir. And we're almost there. I checked out my seal and my seal is a little bit too much for me so I'm going to dish some out and save it for jollof later on because I'm not going to finish all this seal. So I save some and yeah that's going to be in some jollof making. Alright so now I'm going to add my fried turkey. Look at how that still look. You could have this with your rice, banku, kenke, gari, yam, anything guys. Not fufu anyway. You can eat this with fufu. Or kukunte. <laughs> Alright. So at this point, cover this. Let it cook for about 5 minutes. Alright. So I'm going to add this spice to it. Shell's ground spice. It's natural. It has rosemary, ginger, bay leaf, coriander seed. It is really good, guys. If you want this spice, let me know and I'll send you her number. She sells shito. She has Kelly Willy spice. This spice is straight from Ghana. It's natural and it tastes good in your tomato stew, your soups, whatever stew that you want to make with. Shelly, oh you are done for spice, eh? Alright guys, our stew is almost done. Let this cook for about 2 minutes and we are done. I had this stew with my watch and I'm going to upload that recipe soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate that so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and share my videos. Until I come your way next time, this is Cook with Naki. Take care of yourself and bye.